Hey everyone, thanks for taking a few minutes out of your day to check out this video on our brand new Cargo Logic platform that is launching out of private beta and going live with some great, great uh, original and new beta testers that we were able to acquire during these last uh, few months um, and year actually, the past year, working hard with our team, with our investors, with their network, um, and with those beta testers to create uh, a brand new platform that we consider the future of freight. Um, the platform itself, uh, Cargo Logic, it's built to help independent freight forwarders and brokers better stay in sync, uh, better collaborate and work remotely with their clients, these smaller shippers. Um, and the idea behind our platform also in our business itself is to focus on these small to medium uh, ventures that need the most help, um, that are dealing with crazy uh, com competition from the larger uh, players, your DHLs, um, your DSVs. Um, very tough companies uh, to kind of keep up with, um, you know, FedEx, DHL, where they have large innovation teams and budgets um, that you can't actually compete with and economies of scale with rates that you cannot touch, right? Um, and so uh, what we're trying to do is to empower this independent forwarding market uh, with brand new software that closes that gap a little bit between them and these larger players while also defending themselves against these new digital entrants uh, that are coming in and also providing a tool almost like an automated assistant that's always on to help you stay in sync, to add structure to your day and to keep your business um, focused strategically on the big goals and the outcomes and less focused on the redundant activities that actually end up taking away a lot of your efficiency and time uh, within the organization that usually starts off with the commercial rep uh, responding to, hey, where's my cargo? Or, you know, hey, is this compliance document in your Google Drive or is it in my Dropbox, right? So, um, you know, no one you know, likes to go through these motions, especially when you're looking at 30 to 40 long uh, email threads. And this is why we started Cargo Logic. You know, myself, my name is Miles. I'm the co-founder and CEO. My other co-founder, uh, Luis Trujillo Jr., actually grew up in the industry and started in his family's warehouse at the age of 12. You know, so needless to say, he's got a lot of domain expertise, coupled with my own experience uh, leading Octopi, another maritime shipping uh, startup to a, a great acquisition, you know, so together we're able to really work closely with our customers, with our beta testers to figure out what we need, uh, how quickly do we need it, and how quickly can we roll it out. And what we're finding is that there's a real big market out there um, that is looking for very modern software for our generation that's easy to use, that's focused on the user experience, and also very engaging. And we're intending to do this not only on the freight forwarding side, um, but also on the shipping side as well. So we're starting first with the freight forwarders to make sure um, that we are truly impacting these businesses from the inside out uh, as well. We're not just providing a nice dashboard and keeping business the same on the back end. We're actually going into these operations, these small to medium operations, improving their efficiency, their quote win rates, um, you know, driving revenue, um, giving them new data, new analytics, um, beautiful logistics timelines. And I wanna just quickly show you uh, some of those things today. Um, so the first thing that you're looking at here is your customer portal. Uh, as you can see here, you know, your login is here on the left. But what's really interesting about this is that the second that you sign up for CargoLogic, you actually have your own customer portal ready to go and fired up. It literally takes just a few minutes to go to our website and to click the Try Free Now button uh, and to get yourself set up and ready to go. Um, we know that this independent market does not have the tech budgets and the innovation teams to build out these sort of great quotation forms and and websites, they, they can't compete uh, with these larger players like DHL and FedEx and Panalpina that have great technology, you know, great innovation teams, um, and, and you can't really keep up with them. Um, and couple that with the idea that there are new tech startups with tons of funding that are coming to take um, their business away, um, followed by the liners actually getting back into logistics, taking direct booking, and did we forget about COVID? No, we didn't, right? So helping these businesses work remotely was a big aspect and important to us and why we created this customer portal. So if I click on the request a quote button, I don't even need to be a customer uh, of CargoLogic. I don't need an account in CargoLogic. I don't even necessarily need to be the customer of you as the freight forwarder or broker. And someone can immediately come to your website. They can just go to yourcompany.cargologic.com and then fill out this great uh, quoting form that's really interactive, that's really going to um, uh, adapt to what your needs are. So you can specify containers, types, volumes, weights. You can add cargo items. You can add uh, LCL cargo uh, as well. Uh, and then you can gather all the key information that you need. That's often so hard to gather when you have different time zones, different teams, uh, information resting in different systems. 
uh, as well. So the idea here was to capture all that key information that you need right at the start and to enable you and your team to get an alert about it and to start responding right away uh, to win that business and ideally retain that business. So you're able to request a quote uh, anonymously or if, even if you're an existing client of that forwarder uh, and you don't want to log in and you hate logging in, you know, again, we built this for those shippers. Um, don't worry about it. You know, hopefully the system in itself will convince you to join uh, as well. Um, you also have track of shipment, uh, which is um, right now available for air and sea. Uh, we're going to get into over the road very soon. That's next uh, on our pipeline here. Uh, but you can track your cargo if it's logged into the system by MBL, container number, and HBL, and on the air side, flight number, MAWB, and HAWB as well. Um, so you already have these great tools to help you drive business. And as you can see here, we're not forcing anyone to do anything. We're not forcing anyone to log in, and we're softly requesting that they join, um, you know, and, and, and join the system and join you in real-time collaboration, which is where you're going to get the most benefit out of the system. But we understand that these things take time. The industry has to adopt these things, and this comes with knowledge that I also gained uh, in my last startup, Octopi, that was acquired by Navis in the port terminal operating system space as well. Change management is very important, and we knew that from the beginning here, um, starting with that WhatsApp com communication, hey, I need to move a box from point A to point B and following that cargo cycle all the way through the end. So our goal is to provide this really great, robust solution that'll help these both parties, you know, both of these parties collaborate and communicate uh, between each other. Um, so logging into the system, um, you know, now that I got the portal of fun stuff uh, out of the way, um, here's what the system looks like when you're logged in. Uh, it's very easy to filter through your clients. Right now, this dashboard is set, um, you know, per client, uh, but really easy to switch uh, to your clients uh, as well. So um, you can just type in a couple of digits, almost like a, a, an Apple um, search uh, in your Mac OS uh, or your, your iPhone or even Android, uh, a, a really util utilizable, you know, easy to use um, search bar here. And I can just put in uh, any client um, that I want, put in a couple of digits, press enter, and I'm taken to that dashboard. The next step is to build this global dashboard. It's going to give you way more intelligence. And that's what all we're also working towards. Uh, here you can see, um, you know, your activity feed that's going to point out uh, key items if there's action required or not um, on both sides, actually. Uh, so this is a two-sided facing application. As I resize it, you can see the tablet view here, uh, as well as the, the smartphone view, um, you know, too. So you can see all your shipments, uh, for example, on one dashboard, you know, one, one um, iPad, one Android tablet, whatever phone, whatever device you're on, as long as you got a 3G connection, you and your shippers can log in to see all their key information um, right in front of them that makes it very easy um, to know and understand what's happening and also to start communication. So you can send messages, you can send messages to your in client, uh, your entire client team, you can in, in, uh, message individual um, people uh, as well uh, on that client side if it's a larger team. And you can also um, communicate with your internal team to make sure different um, departments such as marketing and pricing, for example, are in sync and collaborating as they should be as well. Um, this map, um, we're working on overhauling as well, but a good start. And here you can see um, the active shipments. Um, when I hover over them, I get the key information and I can click on any one of these. Um, and you can kind of also see here on the left, you can think of these shipments as channels. So if I click on one of these channels, um, you know, I actually have the ability to see this beautiful um, logistics timeline that we see as a cross between, um, you know, a DHL tracking number and that beautiful Amazon logistics timeline that everyone uh, loves um, with its transparency, with its updates, um, with its notifications and exception alerts. Um, that's what we're also striving to build here. You know, we're not trying to radically change anything, but rather close that gap, like we said, uh, between these independent players with this brand new platform. Um, so you have key shipment information and instruction. Um, uh, and please keep in mind, this is um, demo data. So not all of it's going to be 100% accurate here, uh, but you can see the timeline. Uh, you can see that we're tracking a, a specific flight. And then I can click on the documents as well, and I can upload whatever documents I need to this specific shipment as well. And that's the cool part about Cargo Logic uh, is that um, you can upload documents, you can have these conversations, and, and not only can you do them, but you can do it intuitively so it's easy to find the specific shipments and you're not going through 30 to 40 uh, emails or to, to dig up you know, key information. So I can quickly upload files. It's unlimited storage on both sides. And you also have the messages as well. So going back to the messaging component, what we also built is almost like a CRM. It's a system of record that follows you through the history of that cargo cycle from the beginning, right? So, but instead of WhatsApp, you know, you can say, uh, hey, I need to move a box, right? Your client can log in once they become more accustomed to the system, 
they're going to realize that, hey, I actually can save a lot of time on my own if I actually just use this system to engage with my customers and it's actually going to free up my day as well. Um, you know, so that's the beauty behind our system is that we're creating the system of record um, that uh, you can easily share with people uh, as well. And that's another great thing that I want to showcase uh, to you guys as well. Not only do you have this timeline in the system, but you also have it outside of the system. So just like that DHL tracking number, you know, everyone knows, just go to DHL, just go to FedEx, drop that tracking number. Here's your timeline. It's the same concept here, but we're empowering independent freight forwarders and brokers to do the same thing. So here you actually can see what this looks like, right? I can send this via WhatsApp and this is just a link uh, that I clicked uh, just to show you again, uh, the share button here. Um, when it's copied to a clipboard, I can send it in WhatsApp. I can send it in SMS. I can email to someone and it's very easy to share um, that where's my cargo um, status rather than responding to that text. It's gonna take you away from your core business 10, 15 times or more uh, a day. So it's a really beautiful platform. And again, you see just like the portal, we're not requiring that that end user, that shipper on the other side, log in because we know that they hate logging in. So instead we're gonna softly and gently try to pull them in and we hope that they see value. Uh, and if they don't, just let us know and, and we'll talk to them too and, and understand where we can you know, uh, improve the system. Um, but it's really great to have this sort of technology and you also have this on the quoting side of things uh, as well. So I'm showing you the shipment side, uh, which is kind of the, the end product, if you will. We do give the ability, just like a CRM, to upload all your clients, upload your shipments, upload your bills, pre-populate this with information and intelligence that you can then use to re-engage some of those customers uh, later on. Following the process, however, we do, you know, ideally in a perfect world, you're getting your customers to log in. Of course, we'll help you. Um, but once you do get them set up and logged in, it's very easy for someone uh, to create a, a quote, to respond to a quote. You can search through uh, old quotes as well. Um, you can pre-populate uh, this quoting process. You can add cargo items very easily, specify the Inco terms, just kind of how you saw it on the portal side. And then you can go ahead and hit next and it'll allow you to start creating uh, your line items um, for this particular um, cargo uh, as well. So once I hit submit, um, it actually goes through a floating process, uh, a flow process, uh, excuse me, um, that goes back and forth between both parties, allowing for modifications, allowing for approvals. And all these, all this information is actually gonna show up here at the, at the top right. So almost like a Facebook newsfeed, you're gonna be able to see um, all the key information, you know, action required, you know, quote gonna expire as if something was modified. We're actually gonna, you know, a new booking was created or a new quote came in off the internet. Uh, we're actually gonna alert you and your team and your team can, can process that information or walk in the, in, into their, uh, into their office, open up their computer and see and know exactly what they got to do and when. So we're going to be iterating uh, to improve this as well. And your messages, right? Those messages that were sent to you or that you uh, that, that was received, you're going to be able to see those and, and navigate to them really quickly uh, too. Um, so I can see uh, quotes that are, that are active, that are historical, ones that I've done in the past. Uh, I can share that information too. Uh, I can see active quotes that the customer can book, you know, because there's a validity period um, you know, in place. And if I click on book, it'll take you to the booking screen. And there's a process as well um, that's very user friendly. They'll take you from a booking into the shipment um, uh, status as well. Uh, and then here you can also share these quotes too, right? So just again, um, talking about how we, we opened up the system. If I click on this quote, it's actually going to show me that line. It's going to show me the line items that I created uh, as a freight forwarder broker, you know, that you can easily modify and add and edit. Um, you can add, you know, cargo, uh, of course, like we we're showing you, and then you can see the quote details uh, too, along with the status and who created it, um, you know, internally as well. Uh, so you have these full audit trails that are also searchable. You can always go back and search for specific quotes. You can add your own reference no names, uh, like for example, one of the demo ones we use is one, two, three ref. And if I search for that, all the one, two, three ref uh, reference numbers are going to show up here. So we make it very easy to help you go paperless and to become more efficient. And you can also uh, do the same sort of thing for your bookings as well. So there's a process there, um, you know, where you can see the bookings that are in progress that have been completed and approved. You can search through them. You can see your historical bookings too. Uh, and if I click on one of these bookings, you know, I can see, um, you know, the key information, um, you know, uh, assigned to it. And, and if there's been any modifications or changes to the system, uh, I can go ahead and do that, uh, you know, too. Sorry about this, uh, this UI issue right here. Um, what's being a startup is all about, right? Um, but we can fix that really easily. Uh, and here, um, you know, you can see all the key information your shipper can sign, you notify, you know, who prepared it. Um, and you have all this information, right? You have the system of record and the more clients that you actually get into the platform and engaging with you, um, the better value that you're going to be able to deliver on both sides of the equation. Uh, and very easy to manage your team, to manage your clients. So just like a CRM, you can upload a roster of all your clients. 
uh, very easily. I can view um, specific clients and, and, and mind you, you know, this is again, this is the first step. And the next phase for us is to kind of get into a globalized dashboards to get into costings more, um, you know, uh, among other features that we're constantly getting asked about, such as automated rate quoting, uh, and also actually doing the bookings, which we don't do right now uh, in Cargo Logic. Um, so a lot in the pipeline, a lot of feedback that we're getting from the market, and we're excited to continue iterating uh, and pushing forward and hopefully becoming um, the platform of choice, um, the customer experience and engagement platform of choice for your organization. We do have integrations as well. That being said, um, so we can allow you to uh, integrate with other existing systems that you might have. Obviously, additional costs associated with that, but we're open to exploring those uh, with you as well. So you can see our, our API uh, here is ready to go. And our first customer, just to give you an idea in case you want to check it out, uh, request more information, you can go to lagunsa.com and you can kind of see that they started white labeling. It's something we don't offer right away, but if I hit on uh, quotation or track cargo, it's going to take you to Cargo Logic. And Lagunsa is an organization that has been around uh, for quite some time um, that is respected in Guayaquil, Ecuador. And we look forward to winning more Lagunsas and hopefully uh, your business uh, as well as we continue to grow and expand. Thank you for your time today. Uh, if you have any questions, hit the contact us page on our website. Um, try a beta out you know, for free. You have 15 day trials, you know, no credit cards required. Um, and also uh, feel free to shoot myself a message on LinkedIn um, or my co-founder Luis Trujillo Jr. Uh, as well. Uh, we're always available for you. Um, you can email us as well, miles at cargologic.com and luis at cargologic.com. Uh, and we'll constantly, you know, and, and to the best of our ability, respond to every single inquiry um, that we receive too. So if you have any questions, just let us know. Uh, and if you're interested in, in using Cargo Logic, just uh, go ahead and go to cargologic.com. Go ahead and click on the Try Free Now button. Um, you kind of see it peppered throughout. And if I click on the Try Free Now button, it'll take you directly into the sign-up process with just two easy steps. Um, you know, you actually can have uh, your account set up, ready to go um, in a heartbeat. So that's it. Uh, appreciate your time, and we'll talk to you soon. Thank you.